And I got the, I got the um, consomme. Look at that. Look at that crust though. Look at how beautiful and airy the crust is. I did it again. The best crust I've made. good huh hey you guys so right now I'm in the middle of filming I thought I'd come in and do film a quick little intro I know I don't always film my intros like this but I'm super excited for you guys to see this recipe today as you guys can see from the title and hopefully I get a good thumbnail uh, I'm making oh don't come for me y'all birria or birria I'm not probably I'm probably not getting that right but that's okay uh, I'm making a pizza out of that today and later this week I'm actually gonna make burritos with the leftovers so I'm really excited about that I'm really so glad to be back I love you guys and I really really hope you guys enjoy this recipe all right you guys let's jump right into this um, this pizza dough recipe is gonna be different from my other pizza dough recipes I want to bring you guys better pizza recipes because we're doing a lot of pizza on this channel lately so I want to do better pizza recipes for you guys so I'm trying out a different method that I read and it absolutely turned out perfect I'm weighing everything out because I'm really trying to pay attention to the process so I'm gonna weigh out my flour exact and I will have the exact measurements down in the comments below and then I'm going to weigh out my water. In my warm water, I tempted at 96 to be exact. Um, I wanted to do very exact numbering on this pizza dough. Uh, like I said, I'm trying something new and don't judge me for using a baby thermometer. It's my thermometer was lost, could not find it. Uh, so I used a baby thermometer. Uh, but anyway, I measure, I tempt my water. After I'm done weighing out my water, I'm going to, um, I couldn't weigh out the yeast because the amount of yeast I was using was so small. So um, I really couldn't weigh that out. So what I use is like just below a fourth a teaspoon of yeast. And as you guys know me, I use a tablespoon most of the time. So this was definitely a this was definitely an adjustment for me um, but like I said it turned out so beautiful and now I know that you really don't need that much yeast to make a beautiful pizza dough like you barely need any it's more about the process so what I do is I measure out um, that fourth a teaspoon of yeast and then I pour a little warm water in there I move my flour over to a different container I pour my water in and what I'm gonna do is mix it together until it's incorporated and then I'm gonna cover it for 30 minutes then I'm gonna come back weigh out my salt um, I weighed out my salt and I thought it was a lot I thought it was a lot so I had to dump it out on my scale just to make sure that I wasn't tripping that it was a lot um, to make sure that my scale wasn't wrong and it it was it was slightly off but it was still quite a lot of salt to me and I thought it was but it really wasn't after um, the final product you do not taste the salt really in the dough um, so after I did that what I did was dump the salt and I pour the yeast water that we set over to the side and then what I'm gonna do is start folding the dough I'm gonna start folding and pulling the dough 
and I'm doing a couple of methods here. So I'm pulling it and folding it on top of each other, pulling and folding, and then I eventually start pinching the dough. And what this is gonna do is basically make sure that everything is incorporated very, very well. What I've learned a lot in baking as of lately you guys know that i i'm not a professional baker i'm just kind of teaching my teaching myself as i go um but i learned that the technique is really important um just the just time and technique and really kind of giving your dough like that tender loving care to really develop And then I'm also using a little container of water to wet my hands as I do this so that the dough doesn't stick to my hands um, because this dough is going to be a sticky dough. And you do not want it to stick to your hands and make it a big, huge mess. So get yourself a little thing of water and then every time you fold it, use the water to dip your hand. You feel your hand getting sticky. So like I said, I repeat this process three or four times and I cover it, come back. And then for the last process, I do the same thing. I pull it and fold it into each other, but now I'm gonna add oil so that the dough does not stick to the container as much, but it was actually a fail. Mine did end up sticking to the container, so just be mindful of that. And the reason why you don't want it to stick to the container, obviously because you don't wanna be doing too much. When it's time to fold it and stuff, you don't wanna be being too rough with your dough I guess and I know you guys this is a long process um, I, I know it but this is definitely gonna be for the people who want to take the time to make a really good pizza dough uh, I highly recommend this but like I said I have a lot of other pizza dough recipes on my channel that do not take this long but what I will recommend is that you do have leave it overnight it slowly develops the dough and then it creates those connections. The more time it has, the better it comes out because it has the time to actually work its magic while you're not using it, if that makes sense. I'm trying to make, make sense, but I don't know if it is. And so the next day in the morning, I actually pull it out. And then what I'm gonna do is um, flour my surface a little bit, and then I'm gonna divide it into two. You can divide it in, a, in about like four or five pizzas um, if you're doing like little mini pizzas and it's gonna make thin crust not thick so I wanted to make a thicker crust I only divide it into two and I kind of eyeball it you can use a scale for this you know try to get it as even as possible it's not that serious that it be even what I'm gonna do is basically do I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I was folding it I'm gonna pull it on top of each other and then kind of round it out a little bit and then um, I'm actually gonna set those back into the fridge while I'm doing my other, making my other ingredients. And then, like I said, this recipe just comes down to time and patience and um, it made a beautiful dough. Um, but now we're gonna move on. Uh, we're gonna move on to the um, birria. Ah, am I saying it right? I had to look that up again. <laughs> I'm so bad at it, I don't know what it is. Um, but anyway, we're gonna make that and we're gonna be using these chilies. I think this was ch chili California. I kind of used what I had. Um, so I used the chili California, I used pasillos, and I used um, 
my New Mexico red chili because I have a ton of it. I think you could use what you want. I think when I made this the first time, I was really trying to be a stickler on doing it the right way and um, the traditional way. Um, this time, I just kind of did what I wanted and I amped up the flavor like a ton. I turned up the notch on the flavor this time. Not to say that the re last recipe was bad. Uh, I just feel like I was being too scared with the flavors. So this time I empty out my seeds, but not all of it because I actually wanted it to be spicy this time. Last time it wasn't very spicy and I was really looking for more of a kick in it. So I left in like half my seeds. If you don't like it spicy, obviously you guys do not have to keep the spice in it whatsoever. After I'm done doing that, I'm also gonna be doing a different type of method. Like I said, this isn't traditional, but this is kind of the way I wanted to go just um, from my own cooking experience. So I'm gonna be adding a mirepoix, which is basically um, carrots, celery, and onions. It's a base to a lot of stocks in cooking. Um, it's French, it's a French term. And basically it's just a base of flavors that you add to stocks, soups, all of that stuff. So I decided to do that. And then I'm also gonna be using a crap ton of garlic and some seasonings. And I will have the seasonings all linked down below, but basically what I did was, and I did a lot of seasonings, you guys. I was not scared to do the seasonings this time. Um, I think it was, it was paprika. I did cumin, paprika, black pepper, um, salt, obviously. And then I did like a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of cloves. Um, a tablespoon of oregano and bay leaves I believe that was it but I'm definitely going to um, I'm definitely going to link it all in the description below but like I said I amped up my flavor this time you guys and it was well worth it Um, so I'm gonna cut up my meat and this is the meat that I was able to get my hands on and I feel like with this kind of recipe It's very forgiving because I feel like you can use any cut of meat as long as you simmer it And it's not too fatty and you remove the fats um, you skim the fats, but since this was a very Lean cut of meat. I think it was like top sirloin if I'm not mistaken um, since it was very lean, I didn't trim it and um, I didn't have to do very much skimming. I actually wanted that oil. I wanted as much as oil as I could. So I ended up having to add extra oil while it was cooking because I wanted a little bit more oil in my, um, in my consomme. And then I'm just gonna brown this meat. I didn't brown it very well because I was being impatient, but you definitely wanna do the browning of the meat. It just adds another extra layer of flavor. So after I'm done um, browning my meat, I'm gonna add in all of my ingredients, my chiles, my onions, and then I accidentally poured my garlic in there. I didn't want the garlic to get lost when I needed to pull it out and blend it up. And then I pour my spices and my water. I think it was, I started off with eight cups of water and then I ended up adding four more cups after it reduced. And I did let this sit overnight because, uh, I don't know, I just felt like letting it sit overnight. But you do not. I think you, it, depending on the type of cut of meat you have, you can either do a shorter amount of time or a longer amount of time. The thing that um, matters the most is that it is falling apart when you're done cooking it. So whatever cut of meat you get, make sure you cook it until it's tender. So anyway, I'm gonna pull out my chiles and I'm going to uh, blend it up with the onion and the garlic. And then I'm gonna dump it back into the and back into the pot. And I'm gonna stir it up and it was beautiful. Make sure you guys get everything out of that blender. I just poured a little water in there and then switched it around and poured it in. And then after it was simmering all night, this is what it looked like. It, if you could touch it, it could fall apart. It was great, it was amazing. Um, I don't recommend that you always have fall apart meat just depending on what you're trying to make. But definitely for this, I definitely recommend having like super fall apart meat. It just makes your life easier and it is really good.
so now I'm just going to grate up some Oaxacan cheese. I was like recording this and I was like, do they really need to see this? But I was like, whatever, I'll show you guys. You guys know that I love recording every single little thing. I'm gonna be cutting my red onion and my cilantro for my pizza, which I see is traditionally served in a lot of, every time I see this dish, I see that they serve it with onion and cilantro. So that is what I'm doing, cutting those both up. So now I'm just gonna take out my meat and drain it. And then I'm gonna cut it up until it's like very fine shreds. And I'm gonna form my pizza and I'll, and you guys, obviously I have like, I have like the worst pajamas in this video. <laughs> but this is, this is real life for me, okay? I'm in pajamas every day. A lot of us are in our pajamas every day right now, uh, so. There's really no shame in my pajama game right now, okay? So don't make fun of me. Don't come for me in the comments, okay, about my pajamas. Um, Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna take out my pizza from the fridge and this was after it was like sitting for six hours in the fridge. And then I'm gonna try to, I'm going to try to work this pizza with my hands. And you guys know I am not the best. My hands are very long and awkward, I always say this, but I, mean, I feel like I'm, it doesn't feel right every time I'm trying to do something with my hand. Um, so basically what I'm doing is trying to pat it down and make sure that there is, a crust around it so I'm not pressing the outer edge I'm trying to create an outer edge if that makes sense um, and I just kind of and I just kind of keep stretching it and keep stretching it and I try to put it in my hands and actually like pizza shop this pizza dough but guys it was such a fail don't like it was embarrassing I thought I'd show you that because I'm gonna tell you right now I'm so bad at rolling out pizza and I'm so bad at like just like shaping pizza dough. I don't know what it is, uh, but I'm gonna get better. I promise you guys. put it on high as it can go. I put my pizza stone in the oven for about 40 minutes. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this was an absolute fail for me because I did not have a pizza pill. So I was trying to, uh, I was trying to make it work and it was just, guys, it, it was a fail. I should have just stuck to the pizza screen until I got a pizza pill, which I will be ordering here pretty soon. And now I'm gonna be making a quick little garlic butter sauce for my pizza. You don't have to do this. I just thought I'd show you guys real quick just so I can have like a little, you know, levels of flavor.
After I'm done doing that, you guys know the drill. I put cheese. I didn't do a sauce this time because the consomme is the sauce. You know, obviously we're gonna be dipping this pizza. and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. And so this is what I did. I put it in the oven at the very top, like eight inches away from the top of the oven. And I cooked it for seven minutes. And then at the last minute, I turned on the broiler just so that I can get those nice, um, crispy charred pieces of the crust. And then that was that you guys. And then I was done. Anyway, um, if you guys are still here, leave me some here. Leave me some cheese emojis. Um, thank you guys. If you watched the recipe part, I know it was a it was it's a lot of information at the beginning, but I really appreciate you guys sticking around and um, watching the recipe part if you did. Uh, but now let's get into the mukbang part. You guys, I'm back. I hope you guys can see me. I hope I'm in focus because my camera, y'all already know. I have been running around trying to get this pizza. <laughs> I will explain that later. But um, as you guys can see from the title, I'm doing a video. Video. Y'all, I, I butcher it every time. That's why I don't even say it. I don't know what it is with that one. I think it's the, the R's in the beginning. I don't know. Anyway, I'm having some Milo's tea today. Y'all know that this is my favorite tea. If you have not tried it, you're, you're sleeping. You're sleeping on it. Whew, I'm so hot. It's hot as hell up in here. And I don't have my, I don't have my, um, whatchamacallit? I don't have a straw today. I'm really so excited about this. I'm actually gonna move this down here because I feel like if I don't, it's gonna get in my way. But I'm really excited about this. Baking it was kind of a fail. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, what is up with my focus? Hold on. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. I hear this like beeping. I don't know if it's coming from my camera then. That would be weird if it is coming from my camera. Um, but anyway, I am going to take a bite into this. It's still very hot. Oh my goodness, y'all. And I got the, I got the, um, consomme. Look at that. All right. Dipping it in the consomme, y'all. Let's try it. Mmm. Y'all, Mm, mm that is good that is too good that just brings it home mm. 
So, my crust is absolutely beautiful. But, and I mean, <clears throat> y'all, I took the time. Like, I have been working on my crust. I've been trying to get it better. I've been trying to do better bread, better pizza recipe, recipes for you guys. I have been looking it up. I just bought a book for it. And I let this bread recipe go for like 24 hours before I even, uh, t you know, took it out of the fridge today. But. Mm. But I was trying to use a pizza stone today, you guys. And since I don't have a pizza pill, I tried to like maneuver it with the parchment paper, but I couldn't take it off the parchment paper because by the end it stuck to the parchment paper. And so I was so sad. I was so sad that I couldn't get my usual crispy crust at the bottom. <clears throat> mm. And I made it spicy this time. I think the last time when I made this, guys, which I will link, the last time I made it, mm, I think I was scared to put like seasonings on it or seasonings in it. Mm. No. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So last time I made this, you guys, I think I was scared to just put too much seasoning. So it was under seasoned. I could taste the flavor and it was really good. But I felt like it was missing something like I need I needed something. So I just amped it up. I put so much seasoning in here. And y'all already know that <clears throat> the type of meat that I used, I couldn't really I couldn't like pick and choose the meat at the store because you guys already know we're in the middle of a pandemic. So we can I, you know, I, I can only pick and choose certain the certain bread I can use or certain bread, the certain meat I can use. So I don't even know what I ended up using, but um, I let it sit overnight. <laughs> I wore a white shirt. Obviously you guys can see that. We don't wanna, we don't wanna go it down our, I don't wanna go in down my, uh, my little chinny chin chin. But look. Look at that crust though. Look at how beautiful and airy the crust is. I did it again. I did it again. I should have stuck to my pizza scream. If I knew I didn't have a pizza pill, I should have stuck to the pizza scream today. But this crust is, this crust is absolutely beautiful. Like it really, I really took the time to develop it, you guys. And it's just like so beautiful. I looked it up. I looked up why my thing is beeping. I'm gonna just have to look into it after I'm done with this. Mm.
I didn't have my ranch today because I'm using this, but I actually kind of want ranch now. I feel like with pizza without ranch. This crust is so beautiful. Like, look at that. When I broke it apart, it's just so airy and beautiful. By far, the best crust I've made. So I don't know what day this is going out. I don't know what day this uh, video is going out because I said I told you guys I was going to be filming all week so that I can get ahead. Kind of like how I did a couple months ago and that helped me. That helped me <laughs> until I was like, okay, I'm just going to chill. And then... <sighs> Oh my gosh. <sighs> you already know. Don't give me that look. Look at that beautiful air pocket. You guys see that? <clears throat> this is so good. You can't, you can't have it without this. Like, you guys. It's so good. They need each other. Mm, 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 mm. Don't give me that look. Don't. Come on. You guys have to forgive me. Come on, let me finish chewing what's in my mouth. Okay. You guys have to forgive me. You guys, if I were doing like a regular mukbang, well, no, that's not true. Because <laughs> even when I would do regular mukbangs, I would get so full. But you guys, you guys gotta take it easy on me. It's like I'm running around, I'm running around, and then I sit down and eat, and it's so hard. Any cook, any cook that does that, like, <clears throat> you make a big meal, and you sit down, and you feed your family first, and then by the time you're done, you just don't want to eat. You just don't want to eat. Oh my gosh, dude. So good. I'm very, very proud of this recipe. I was so excited when I was like, dude, I should put that on a pizza. And it came out amazing. Don't know, listen, nobody come for me because I don't know how to pronounce it, but we're just gonna call it a wet pizza, okay? I, I well, can we please, let, just let me, just let me get away with saying it the wrong way, okay? Take, just take it easy on me in the comments. Um, I'm super happy to be back. I know I say this every time, but like I said, there's really, there's really nothing I, I can tell you guys besides it's just been, it's just been a rough month. You know, I think it's been a rough month for a lot of people and a lot of people 
deal with things in a different way. That crush is absolutely beautiful. Now all I need to do is figure out how to get it on the damn pizza stone next time. Y'all should have seen me. It was it was a it was a shit show in here. It was a shit show. You guys, that was so good. I lost my train of thought. I'm so sleepy now. You guys, Aiden just came back from riding his bike and I'm going to give a slice to you know who. Come on, y'all know it's not a mystery anymore, okay? It's not a mystery. This is a big slice. You have to dip it, you have to dip it in there. Good, huh? It's a little spice. Wow. The spice is right on this one, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Anyway, I don't even know what I was talking about before I meant or I had stopped, you guys. But um, yeah, I'm filming this week. I got some good videos. I have the perfect idea what to do with the rest of this meat. I'm not even gonna embarrass myself. You know what? I'm gonna try to figure out, okay. I'm saying it wrong every single time. How to pro. Now, and I should, I should know how to say it by now. I asked in my last video and then I even looked it up and. Birria. 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 Or I could just say Birria. That's awful. Birria. Okay, okay. So, birria. 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 Oh, yo, I got it. I got it. Okay. I won't forget it. It's okay, though. I finally know how to say it. Um, anywho. That looks so good again. <laughs> I'm so full, you guys. I can't eat anymore. I just can't eat anymore. I just, I, I can't. I can't. But it was good, man. I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this recipe. Um, I'm definitely gonna step up my game with recipes, you guys, because uh, I've been slacking. I've been slacking, you guys know it, I know it, and I want to be more consistent with the recipes, not just with filming, but with the recipes in general. And um, yeah, yeah. I love you guys, man. I really do love you guys. Um, I'm grateful that any of you guys actually come back to watch a video after I've taken so long away from filming so for that i love you guys and i will see you in the next video i don't know what video is going to be next but there will be a next one